In this video, we're gonna be going over some of the pros and cons of living in Frederick, Maryland. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so my name is Ricardo Diaz. I'm actually a local realtor here in the Frederick area. And if this is your first time checking out the channel and you're looking to learn everything about living in, working, eating, sleeping, playing, the good and the bad about the Frederick, Maryland area, be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Also click the notification bell. My phone is constantly going off day and night with people just like you looking to move to the area. So if a move's in store for you this year, be sure to go ahead, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, even send the carrier pigeon. Now with living in Frederick as long as I have and actually loving the area in which I live in, it was kind of hard for me to think of some cons in the area, but we're also gonna cover that in this video as well. Now the first thing that I wanna cover as a pro is just the location of Frederick itself. Frederick has been rapidly growing since the 1980s, partially due to the fact that it is perfectly located about 45 minutes outside DC and 45 minutes outside Baltimore. So if you're gonna be commuting to any of those areas and are looking for more affordability, Frederick is gonna have that to offer for you. In fact, Frederick has almost doubled in size since my family first moved here back when I was a little kid. Now this is gonna be good if you are working in those major cities and are looking to kind of get away from the hustle and bustle and get out to more of a community driven area such as Frederick, Maryland. Now another thing you should know about Frederick, Maryland is that you are about a three and a half, four hour drive to Ocean City. So effectively you could be on a trail at lunchtime and by evening time you're sitting on a beach. Another pro you should know about the Frederick area is just some of the history the town has to offer. Whether it's the Civil War era or it's the Revolution era, you're actually gonna love it here in the Frederick area. The city has tons of signs documenting historic sites throughout the years. And at one point, downtown Frederick was actually under control of the Confederate soldiers. Now, another thing you should also know about Frederick and its history is that we are home to Francis Scott Key, who wrote the national anthem, thus the Francis Scott Key Mall and our baseball team, the Frederick Keys. Now, another thing that is a pro for Frederick is being in the outdoors. Frederick is home to two major parks, both Gamble State Park and Catoctin National Park, both of which are gonna be great areas to go out and hike and camp and just get outside. Also know that Frederick is home to, I believe, 43 miles of the Appalachian Trail, which goes from Georgia all the way up to Maine. Frederick is even also home to Camp David, which is where the presidents go for vacation. Now, if the outdoors aren't your thing, we also have downtown Frederick. Downtown Frederick is home to all of our nightlife. We have over 60 bars and restaurants down there. We also have plenty of art galleries, mom and pop shops, boutiques, and even an historic theater. Now, another nice thing that we have in downtown Frederick is our Baker Park. Now, Baker Park is 58 acres large, smack dab in the middle of downtown Frederick. Think of it as our own little central park in our downtown area. And there is nothing but walking trails, there's a creek, there's a band shell where they have uh, music throughout the year, and even a bell tower right in the center itself. Now in downtown Frederick itself, they do have a ton of events that happen all throughout the year. One of the notable ones that reoccurs every month is First Saturday, where every first Saturday of the month, they have a different theme that all the shops and boutiques go ahead and participate in. A couple key notable ones are going to be the Fire and Ice Festival, where uh, businesses will actually sponsor uh, ice sculptures that are made uh, in honor of the city or the business itself. Uh, they also have fire breathing type pyrotechnic people come on in and it's a great time. Uh, another one is our In the Streets Festival, which marks the anniversary of our town. Um, they actually shut down Market Street for that. Vendors come on out. Everybody's just walking up and down the street, having a great time. Another thing to check out in downtown Frederick during the summer months is the Live at Five festival that happens on the creek. They actually shut down a portion of the creek, a beer truck comes on in, and every week it's a different band that plays there. There's vendors with food. It goes from five to about 8 p.m. It's a great time and a great way to kill a Thursday evening during the summer months. And lastly, another pro for Frederick County, Maryland is gonna be the affordability. Now, a lot of people love Frederick for the community feel, but also too, your bang goes a lot more for your buck out this way. We noticed that a lot of people who can maybe afford only a townhouse in Howard County or say Montgomery County can actually come up to Frederick and now they're able to actually shop for a single family home. 
Again, if moving to Frederick is a plan for you this year, be sure to go ahead and give me a call. So we're gonna go over the first con and that's gonna be Route 15. Now, Route 15 runs right through the middle of Frederick itself. And when they first made the highway, it was great, but it hasn't quite grown up with the city. It is still gonna be a two lane highway on either side. And you will find that it does get congested from 3.30 to about 6.30, Monday through Friday. Now, there are plenty of other neighborhoods in Frederick that you can get to without having to commute to Route 15, and there's also a ton of different back roads to get around it as well. Now, Route 15 could benefit from a lane extension and maybe a couple of updates in some of the exits. However, so far, there's nothing official other than a couple of rumors that have come out about maybe going ahead and improving the highway for more capacity. Now, one con of downtown Frederick itself is going to be its parking. Now, when it comes to parking in downtown Frederick, there's a, only a couple of different garages down there, and ultimately there is street parking. Now, you will find that street parking typically fills up quickly during some of the major events, and some of the smaller parking garages that are closer to the downtown strip itself will fill up at capacity rather quickly. Now, the city is reviewing plans to go ahead and try to maybe increase the capacity of some of the smaller garages, and also to about 10, 15 years ago, there was a larger parking garage located on the south side of the city however it is a little bit off the beaten path to getting to the downtown strip now another con when it comes to Frederick is going to be the city taxes when we take a look at the city tax map it's kind of tricky to figure out who is paying city tax and who isn't you could be literally the furthest away from Frederick City itself paying city taxes at a very high rate and then on the flip side too you could be close to all the major big box stores on the south side of Frederick County only paying county tax at a significantly cheaper rate also too you will find that some neighborhoods will be next to each other with a road dividing it one neighborhood Neighborhoods paying city tax, another one's paying county tax. So when it comes to finding out which neighborhood's gonna work best for you in that area, that's another thing you're gonna wanna go ahead and take a look into. And last but not least, the last con I could come up with for the living in the Frederick area really could have to do with the whole state, but it is the weather. Now, as it is right now, to give you an example, today is a day in February. It is going to be 70 degrees tomorrow. And then after next week, it goes back down to the high 30s, low 40s. So the weather here can be rather finicky. One day it could be nice and sunny, and then the next day it's freezing cold. You do have your typical normal seasons where it is cold in the wintertime, it is hot in the summertime. And that's gonna go ahead and sum it up, guys. Again, if a move to the Frederick area is in store for you this year, be sure to go ahead, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, Email, however you need to get in touch we are helping people just like you and we absolutely love it take care